Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series. Today, Rockstar have released Animal Transformation. I'll be going over exactly how you can play as an animal in Red Dead Online. I'll be going over the exact locations of the Haritum and Fishinalis, the plants that you have to pick to become an animal, and then also where you actually take those plants to be able to transform. I'll also be going over what you can actually do as a transformed animal and also talking about some details on future animals that we'll be able to transform into in a future update and also some of the costs associated with these future transformations. Alright so to get started with this one when you log into Red Dead Online today you'll notice Harriet's location is highlighted in gold indicating there is a new mission for her. You will most likely have to have started the naturalist role to be able to get this but you just basically head on over to that location and go inside that gold marker and the cutscene will start and she'll basically introduce you into the process. Now what you'll have to do next is you'll have to find and pick five of these new herbs that are known as Haritium officinalis. I'm going to show you guys the five locations I used on screen as these were basically the five closest to the location that I used here but there are more that can be found around the map. If you guys want to follow this one along with me, the first one was found just under Little Creek River, basically just under the road of the word creek and you can find that one there and you basically just pick it up. These will also all be highlighted in gold if you use your eagle eye so they should be quite easy for you to spot. Next up, this one was located below Wallace Station and also above Diablo Ridge at this location. Number three, I picked up just below Rig Station. Number four, I picked up just above Tall Trees. This one was basically located to the left of the word Upper in Upper Montana River. And then number five is located very closely to this, basically just left of the word Montana in Upper Montana River. And there is actually quite a few more locations if you're located somewhere else in the map. I will have a link to the Gene Rope Collector's map down in the description if you guys want to see basically every location around the map. The two easiest areas to collect these are going to probably be around the West Elizabeth or even up in Annisburg and Van Horn, there's quite a lot of them, but I'd recommend sticking to the West Elizabeth ones as you will need to take five of those plants to a specific location to actually transform into the buck. And that location you need to go here is right here next to this old dead tree. And if we look at the map a second, it's basically right next to the word Little in Little Creek River. It's located right inside the kind of meander of this river here. Again, this area will be highlighted in gold if you go into your eagle's eye, so it should be quite easy for you to spot here. And once you've collected five of your herbs, you'll be able to go to this location, inspect the ground, and transform into the buck. Now when you've transformed into an animal, you'll have a very small play area to play with, so you won't be able to gallivant across the map as a buck or anything, and you also have a limited time playing as this animal. There honestly isn't really much usefulness in actually playing as an animal. I guess it's a little bit fun, it's a bit of a novelty feature here honestly, and there's not really a whole lot of point or purpose to it, but I did notice as a buck you can kind of charge people, which was kind of fun. So you'll see here I'm taking on a couple of NPCs and kind of being a bit of a griefer here. But yeah, I'm honestly still a wee bit confused on the point and purpose of this. Now we've actually known that POT plants and transformations have been coming into Red Dead Online for quite a few weeks now. I've made a few videos on them so far and the buck is actually one of four animals that are confirmed to be coming into the game. We're also going to be seeing the possum, the rabbit and the boar. Honestly, not the most exciting of four animals. I'm not really sure what you can really do as like a, a possum or a rabbit that's going to be that fun. But, you know, these are the animals that have been found so far. According to Rockstar Insider, we will also have to pay for the other remaining three animals. Apparently it's going to cost 30 gold bars to be able to purchase the pamphlets that you get in the first place to allow you to actually visit the area and transform as an animal. And I really hope these are placeholder prices because to charge basically 30 gold bars a pop to transform into an animal that has no purpose is a wee bit ridiculous. Like I'm really just not sure on the purpose of this even being free, never mind actually having an upfront cost to it. It was also found within the game files by Red Dead Online Guides that there are actually ghost variants for those four same animals that have associated pamphlets with them for animal transformation. So the buck, the possum, the rabbit and the boar, all four of these animals actually have ghost skins so perhaps this will be also related to some kind of Halloween update or DLC or some kind of variant 
to be able to transform into these animals. But yeah, feel free to let me know what you guys think of this new update down in the comments section below. If you did enjoy this video, please take a second to leave it a like, it really helps support my YouTube channel. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future breaking news. Have a good one guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.